American actress, music, video director, and dancer Nitara Carlin Long was born on the 30th of October 1970 in Brooklyn and New York City in the United States. And as Nia Long is probably best known for her appearances in such movies as Boiler Room, directed by Ben Younger. In Too Deep, a thriller drama directed by Michael Reimer, the drama film Boys in the Hood, directed by John Singleton, Friday, directed by F. Gary Gray, and The Best Man, directed by Malcolm so, just how rich is Nia Long as of mid-2017? Celebrity.Money has estimated that Nia has a net worth of over $15 million, acquired largely by acting in over 30 movies and almost the same number of TV productions. Her career began in the mid-1980s. Nia's parents named their daughter as one of the Seven Days of Kwanzaa, a week-long celebration by Western African diaspora, which means purpose in the Swahili language. As a teenager, Nia attended the Roman Catholic school St. Mary's Academy, where she also studied guitar, acting, ballet, and jazz, and after matriculating from West Chester High School in 1989, she immediately started working as an actress. Nia was cast in her first role in the TV film entitled 227 in 1986, which established her net worth and was the first serious step in Nia's acting career. Nitara didn't make her debut on the big screen until 1990 when she played Fingers in Buried Alive, the movie based on the work of Edgar Allan Poe, her first notable role and the first serious increase to her net worth in 1991 when Nia signed a three-year contract to play Catherine Cat in the soap opera called Guiding Light. Later, Nia Long starred in the American TV sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, together with Will Smith and James Avery, firstly in 91 and again for 15 episodes from 94 to 95. Nia Long is mostly known to audiences thanks to the many drama and comedy movies she has appeared in, but she has attempted other genres too. She appeared in the supernatural horror movie Stigmata, which was released in 99. And in the same year, she acted in the inner city police thriller called In Too Deep, and in the business crime drama The Boiler Room, which all helped increase Long's net worth too. Other notable appearances have included Alfie in 2004, nominated for Best Actress, Moe's Lum in 2010, nominated for the same award, and The Best Man Holiday in 2013, being nominated for Best Actress Black Reel Award, meantime steadily increasing her net worth. During her career, Nia Long has been nominated for nine awards and has won four of them, Best Actress in 2000 by Black Reel Awards and three Image Awards for Outstanding Actress in a Television Drama and Outstanding Actress in a Motion Picture. Today, Nia Long's net worth still increases thanks to her hard work. Her most recent roles have been in the TV movie Beaches and series Dear White People and Empire in 2017. In her personal life, in 2000, Nia Long had a son with Macy Dorsey and in 2010, another son with Ime Yudoka, to whom she became engaged in 2015. Nia Long is known as a strong supporter of PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, organization and also of the Sterling Children's Home in Barbados.